I bought this little book about eight years ago, just speculatively. Took it home and opened it up and was blown away. I love the pictures of the gardens inside, which seem to combine formality and tradition and yet something that was completely innovative and exactly chimed with what I love about gardens. And it's called Les Jardins de Jacques Wurtz, and it's the reason I'm on this train now to Antwerp, to meet Jacques Wurtz after all these years. Jacques Wurtz is a designer who straddles the divide between the traditional European garden aesthetic and contemporary garden style. And he is a fully paid up hero of mine. So rather than visit one of his clients' gardens, of which there are many all over Europe, I went to meet him at his home to see his own garden. I've seen pictures of this, but I had no idea that it was so long. This four-acre garden was once the walled garden of a great estate, and the paths were lined with box hedging. But by 1970, when Jacques bought his house, originally the gardener's cottage, 30 years of neglect had reduced the hedges to an overgrown, gappy sprawl. Rather than ripping them out and starting afresh, he used this raw material to make his cloud hedges, transforming them into one of the great horticultural features of the 20th century. In so many gardens that you visit, there's a style that you can latch onto, and you understand it, and you appreciate it, and that explains the garden. What you have here is complete fluidity. You've got lay out a formal garden, you've got nursery plants, there's wonderful flowers, there are vegetables, all growing without boundaries. It challenges all preconceptions, but actually the elements are completely familiar. What you've got here are these great specimens, holly, box, some yew around the corner, like trees in a wood. I mean, there's no attempt to make it like a garden. And it's because they're, they're stored. This is like a, to me, like a stonemason's yard or maybe an attic full of marvellous things just waiting to go. And it's got all the ingredients of a formal garden, but none of the self-consciousness. And it's that that makes it so magical. They say you should never meet your heroes. And I was a little nervous before meeting Jack Burtz. But there was also much I wanted to ask him. Did you intend to make a garden here or to use it as a nursery? Well, my intention was uh, to not to make a garden, uh, to stock plants here for use in our uh, firm for planting outside. But presumably this hedge here behind you now, yeah. that, that was already there. And you, you yes, but not only like shrubs. Why did you reform it in this cloud formation mm -hmm. rather than in straight lines mm -hmm. in the European tradition? Yes, that was the inspiration of the moment, not to um, go back to this traditional uh, way and, and to make it like uh, clouds and uh, what the French name, boutonnement, boutonnement, like boutonnement. sheep, sheep. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some people uh, make copies of this in their garden, and if you do that, you have to need it to on a big scale. Otherwise, yeah. it is, uh, yeah, it is not good. Does this garden still please you and give you pleasure? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, very satisfying. For me, it is a pleasure to um, every morning to take my breakfast here and to look at the garden and to make a short walk to the greenhouse and, and so on. No, 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 I'm very happy. Often it is a paradise for me, uh, yes. Now, it's obvious that I absolutely loved this garden 
And I suppose it ranks as one of the great experiences of my life, you know, one of the sort of fantastic artistic experiences, like going to a, a film that blows you away or reading a novel that changes your life. And what really seems to be special about it is the way that, that space is sculpted into these extraordinarily beautiful objects made out of air and contained by plants. And because the plants are living and changing and have to be clipped, and also that the whole garden is so fluid, it has fantastic dynamism. And that balance between sort of poetic delicacy and human energy seems to be just perfect.